Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Arnel again and today we are going to find the value of x and y of the given linear equations. First equation we have 5x plus y is equal to 5 and by the way we are going to find the values of x and y using substitution method. So we also have this equation x plus 5y is equal to 1, the second equation. So First, we are going to deal with equation 1. We are going to get the equivalent of y, which is equal to 5 minus 5x. And that's our derived equation from equation 1. So, that's our third equation now. And by looking at the equation uh, 2, we can actually substitute equation 3 to equation 2. So we can substitute 5 minus 5x to the y variable of the coefficient 5 of equation 2. So let's see. Let's take it easy. Substitute 3, equation 3, to equation 2. Okay. So x plus 5y is equal to 1 our second equation so x plus 5 here comes the substitution the value of y is 5 minus 5x is equal to 1 so we have to simplify the equation x plus 25 which is coming from 5 times 5 then minus 5 times negative 5, 5x is equal to 25x negative is equal to 1. Simplifying further, we have x minus 25x is, becomes 24x negative, which is equal to 1. So we are going to transfer the terms having variable to the right side of the equation and the constant to the left side of the equation. So 25 minus 1 is equal to 24x. 25 minus 1 becomes 24 is equal to 24x. We have to divide both sides by 24 in order to get the value of x. So cancel, cancel. 24 divided by 24 is equal to 1. So that becomes the value of our x. So right now, we already have the value for x, which is equal to 1. And that's our fourth equation right now. And we can actually substitute the value of x to our equation number 3. So let's substitute the value of x to equation 3 to be able to find the value of y. So y is equal to 5 minus 5x. That's our equation number 3. So y is equal to 5 minus 5 times the value of x. This is now the substitution method. So 1, and that's equal to 5 minus 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So the value for y is equal to 5 minus 5, 0. So actually, that's our answer. Therefore, if x is equal to 1, then the value for y is equal to 0. And to verify our answer, we can actually substitute these values to our equations. So to verify our answer, let's summarize. We have these values for x is 1 and y is equal to 0. So for equation number 1, let's substitute these values for x is equal to 1. Then plus y is equal to 0 is equal to 5. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Plus 0 is 5. Then is equal to 5. So it's verified and it's correct. 
For equation number 2, we have x plus 5y is equal to 1. Let's substitute the value for x, which is equal to 1, plus 5 times the value of y, which is equal to 0, which is equal to 1. 1 plus 5 times 0 is 0, which is equal to 1. So 1 plus 0 is 1, which is equal to 1, and it's verified and it's correct. Thank you for watching.